Good day, everybody. I'm Stephanie Harris. Welcome to Positive Vibes. This is a great day to start this show, and I'm so glad that everybody is joining us today. So Positive Vibes is really going to talk about celebrating kindness and positivity in our community. It's a way to really focus on positive actions, both for individuals, for groups, for businesses. We see so much negativity every day, throughout the day, through social media and news outlets. Let's celebrate the good in our community, and let's commend those that are making a difference and really striving to show that kindness and humanity is really what what matters and what keeps the world going round. So I'm really excited to host this show. At New Beginnings, we're all about second chances and sharing positivity, encouraging people to move their life forward. So it's a really exciting way to bring the community together. My guest today is perfect to talk about kindness and a kindness movement. So we're going to get right into the show today. So I'm going to welcome Renee Lowe. She's with Rowe Family Chiropractic and also the Spread Kindness Make the Difference movement. So welcome to the show, Renee. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. This is awesome. <laughs> yes. So I've known Renee for a while now. We've um, attended a couple business groups together. Oh, yeah. We're kind of wheeling and dealing in the community. So we see <laughs> each other a lot. I think we saw each other four times last week alone. Absolutely. So absolutely. it was a great opportunity to say, you know what? I'm pretty familiar with the spread kindness yes. movement. And it's, um, you know, very somber of why it started, but I think it was necessary. Absolutely. I think, I think it happened for a reason. So why don't you kind of explain to us how this movement started? Well, it really started um, two years ago when our community was shocked with teenage suicides in our community. Mm -hmm. Um, And for me, I have three teenagers at home, um, but being a part of such an amazing, tight-knit business community where we support and encourage and promote each other, I was devastated that this was happening in homes just like mine. You know, everybody has this vision of, you know, a, a child who's struggling with mental health or who takes his own life, you know, of what that looks like. But what we don't realize is it's it's in our homes. It's, you know, it's our kids. They look just yeah. like our kids. There's not some, you know, monster that, you know, happens yeah. to these kids. And so yeah. it was really scary for me to think, how can I be a part of this amazing thing that happens here in South Lake and have been a part of that for 20 years? Yeah where was that breakdown happening with our teens and our kids and how were we going to bring those two things together to fix that yeah that's really how this started okay. um, you know I was driving in my car I got a text message from Dr. Rowe that I work with and said hey I just heard something happened at a high school and the second I finished reading the text message I got the all call that everybody else got yeah. um, about what had happened at Lake Mineola mm-hmm. and as shocking as that was mm-hmm. I knew that wasn't the first teen that we had lost in South Lake already. There yeah. had already been two previous to that. Yeah. So, um, but that was definitely, you know, the one that brought the awareness to the community about, hey, what's happening? And then we had a second one that day and, you know, another to follow um, in the following week. So it was very eye opening and, and very tragic. Mm-hmm. Um, and so in talking to parents and other business leaders, um, we just felt a, a mad rush to bring some awareness really quick to our community. Um, yeah. There was an urgency to find out what happened. And that's kind of what we did. Yeah. So, so it really comes down to just the education of mental health. Absolutely. Uh, lack of knowledge, you know, a negative st- stigma is put on mental health. Yes. Um, and I mean, in reality, over 60% of Americans are facing some form of depression. Absolutely. Which is a mental health condition. Yes. Um, some, you know, treat it medically and some don't. Some can treat it with their own behaviors and with, yes. you know, positivity. Right. <laughs> and right. I think that that's why there's a really good correlation to what you guys are doing with the Spread Kindness Movement, that it's really encouraging teens to speak up I believe you know you guys have a Facebook page that talks about that well Um, we launched the we are listening page and that was really just a group of moms and business leaders that said hey we're we're listening something is happening we we want to be a part of it and it came from conversation yeah you know if we don't know what's going on with someone if we don't encourage conversation with that person we're not gonna know so the more lack of conversation we have the bigger the problem was getting. Yeah. So we said, you know what, we're gonna listen and we're gonna have a lot of conversations. Yeah. And within a couple of weeks, well, within a week, we had 300 people at Waterfront Park at a candlelight visual and we put up a whiteboard on the tailgate of my husband's pickup truck, a huge yeah. whiteboard. 
and reached out to the community and said, if you're a resource or if you know a resource yeah. or if, if you just want to have a conversation to figure out what's happening in our community, put your name and your contact information on this whiteboard. Yeah. And within 30 minutes, the whiteboard was completely full. Yeah. Not only was it commissioners and our police officers and our, you know, leadership here yeah. in town that were doing it, but we had other kids that were reaching out and putting their Instagram number, you know, yeah. their anything, just reach out. Because we felt like the more conversations we could have, the better we could connect with what was happening in our community. And yeah. that's what happened. We started having conversations. Well, and I think it's it's sad because the way society today is very different than what we grew up in. Yes. You know, we didn't have social media. You could do something stupid at school and it would stay, you know, maybe with a few witnesses. Yes. <laughs> yes. It would pretty much be forgotten. School. Yeah, it'd yeah. be forgotten. But nowadays kids can capture anything at the, you know, snap of their finger with Absolutely. one button. And it's, you know, and I know I see both sides of it. I have very active girls myself, and they they see and hear some negativity, um, but they also understand when some people do blow it way out of proportion. It gets out of and that frustrates, I think, some people as well. How do you guys kind of tackle that to help understand, you know, somebody that's just, you know, basically crying wolf, saying that there's something happening when it's really not, and it's teaching the child how to cope with it. Because well, I think that's part of the challenge, too, is teaching I think our kids one thing, how to cope. Yeah, absolutely. But I think one thing is, is we never, with mental health, you can't ever say they're just crying wolf. Yeah. Because can't take there's chance. always going to be that one that, you know, maybe they are kind of acting out or it seems like, you know, things aren't really happening the way yeah. they say. But until we're in that individual situation. Yeah. You don't know. Well, their perception's so reality. So. You run for every wolf, you yeah. know. If if yeah. there's a lion in the room, I, you know, our instinct is to run away from the room. But yeah. the problem is we're leaving the person in the room with the lion still in the room with the yeah. lion. And that's yeah. where the issue comes. So I think getting rid of that stigma and wondering, yeah. you know, especially with kids and with our teens, yeah. you know, they're – there's so many things that they're going through because today's mm -hmm. world is way different <laughs> so, than our world yeah. was, you know. Yeah. And one thing that we realized very quickly in our community, and I imagine it's the same, mm -hmm. you know, across the world in a lot of communities. Mm -hmm. But in South Lake, you know, we have three high schools, we have multiple middle schools, and we have a lot of elementary schools. Yeah. So when, when things took place here and it took place at one high school, a lot of focus went to that one high school, as it should. That yeah. was, you know, it was extremely traumatic. But what we wanted everybody to realize was that here in South Lake, just because there weren't kids sitting in the classrooms at Lake Mineola High School, and they were over at East Ridge, and they were over at South Lake, mm -hmm. they were just as affected. Their yeah. worlds were just as rocked and devastated. Yeah. Because in South Lake, it's these kids tight. all grow up together. Yeah. They started in the same elementary schools. They played on the same baseball and yeah, soccer teams and cheerleading and dance. And yeah. we, you know, there's this connective community. So it really didn't matter what school this was taking place at and it was happening in our middle and our elementary schools we lost yeah. kids from all of those yeah, uh, levels age. of school last, you know when that took place here and it, it affected everybody and so that's when we started realizing you know one action from one person creates a domino effect whether yeah. it's good or it's bad mm -hmm. so when we started talking to the kids and found out there was this good voice that they had, you know, they they were seeing these things that were mm -hmm. taking place with their friends and they knew it way before any of us knew it. Yeah. You know, the warning signs were there, but they didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. They didn't know how to react to it. They didn't know, you know, there there's a lot of labeling and a lot of mm -hmm. You know, well, they stuff didn't that know happens what's with real them. and what's yeah. not. And what's real and what's yeah. not. Do I get involved? Do I yeah. not get involved? You know, is this, you know, they're just angry with someone today and they're yeah. going to be best friends again tomorrow. Yeah. You know, there's this constant up and wow. down with them. Teenage so, years, yeah. too. So we found that if we could teach them the value of conversation and the minutes they have in a day, yeah. it was empowering to them. Absolutely. And so we found a campaign. And that's how the We Are Listening went from We Are Listening to in 15 short days, we had a campaign that was spread kindness and make a difference. Yeah. And that's because Facebook is fabulous in some yes. cases because um when this started we were able to 
stumble across Ray Levy, who is in North Lake County, and he had a Spread Kindness Make a Difference campaign just because he believes in kindness yeah. and the, it makes a difference in the world, That's you know? Reassuring. And so, yeah. you know, they were struggling um, in North Lake County with, you know, adult suicide and mental health, you know, mm-hmm. in, in some of our senior population and things like that. So it was, it was almost like it was meant to be that we found each other. Yeah. And so he brought the Spread Kindness Make a Difference campaign to South Lake to our youth so that they could show we want to come together and we don't want to ignore this problem in, you know, in their element. As adults, we didn't see it, but they knew it was going yeah. on. So we wanted to bring the resources to them to do that. Which I think is really critical because, I I mean, I think you have teenagers. I have a teenager still at home. And thinking for them, I see where she has an impact in in Mm -hmm. her peers. Absolutely. And for them to understand the power of that influence. Yes. And, you know, you said it a minute ago that it is one simple action that can change the course of what someone's thinking. Because you may not realize, you know, you share a smile with a colleague, a classmate as you're walking the halls. Yeah. It might not be somebody that you consider a friend. It might not be somebody that you really associate with, but they seem a little down. They, you know, have their head down and they're kind of sulking. You could share a smile or say, hey, I like your backpack or, hey, I like that shirt. Absolutely. Something, Something some symbolistic, you know, positive message can really change the course of where they're, where they are in their headspace at that moment. Well, people ask us all the time, you know, what is kindness? I don't know. Kindness is different for everybody, you know, and that's what we say. I can stand in a room with a hundred people and ask everybody in the room and they're all going to have a different idea of what kindness means to them. And so, you know, one thing, Ray, he's awesome and the kids love him and his energy is phenomenal and his, you know, positively, he's just oozing with positivity all the time. But the most passionate thing I think he ever brought to the kids was he said, we are blessed with 1,440 minutes every day. And we make them say that, yeah. 1,440 minutes. We should wake up yeah, and say should. that every day. Yeah. Because I don't think we realize the impact that yeah. 1,440 minutes, every person is blessed with that every day. Yeah. So we challenge the kids that we work with and the adults that we work with to be you know, a kindness ambassador out there, yeah. you, you have to take a challenge. And the challenge is in your 1,440 minutes that you're blessed you with every do? day, can you give up three? Can you give up three minutes? Yeah. We ask them to give one minute of kindness to their home, whether yeah. it's to their parent, to their dog, a parent to their kid, your spouse, your sibling. Yeah. Maybe you just scrub the toilet because it needs <laughs> it. You know, it's an act of kindness to your home. Yeah one every day the second one is we ask them to give an act of kindness to their community go out somewhere whether it's a smile you hold the door you carry the groceries you visit your neighbor you stop and let somebody merge into traffic right now holidays are coming people (laughs) let somebody get in line in front of you if they only have two things and you have a shopping cart full show them something in their community but the most important one of all is that we ask them to give one minute of kindness to themselves. Because if you don't understand what kindness is for yourself, Mm -hmm. how on earth can we teach people to go out and be kind to somebody else? And so those are the three things. And when you compare 1,440 minutes, if I just give up three, and you give up three, and everybody else out there gives up three minutes, what kind of impact does that have on our community? Yeah. And the kids see that, you know, at Starbucks, oh, this guy pays for that guy's coffee and he pays yeah. for that guy's coffee and he pays for that guy's coffee. And, you know, they'll say, yeah, but it doesn't last all day long. Well, why doesn't it last all day long? Well, because that guy in the 10th car didn't want to pay for the guy's coffee behind him. Yeah. So it ended there, you know, because yeah. the guy behind him didn't know that he did it and, you know, so he yeah. didn't think to do it. So that's how the campaign came about, was that if they could have a campaign and people could see acts of kindness and see that people promote kindness and they support it and they encourage it because that's what we were doing in our community. Um, So that's how our campaign came about. And that's why we have spread kinds make different signs. Um, You can put these in your business rooms or in your yards or all over town. Um, But that was the way the kids knew when they started seeing those in businesses and we have magnets for cars. 
Yeah. They send me pictures. Hey, I saw our sign. They're supporting kindness. They want to do this. It's an encouragement yeah. for others to do it. A reminder because we yeah. need a reminder for that. Well, and so. it is really important because we see it, you know, from through New Beginnings, we're helping individuals that have come out of homelessness and poverty. Yeah. And it can be a huge detriment to um, someone that's in that space. And Absolutely. We're helping entire families. Absolutely. And we see and can understand the pain that they have gone through the minute yes. they call us or they walk in the door. Right. And a lot of times what shocks them the most is the kindness that they do yeah. get when they come in. Exactly. And it's not just from us and from our staff, you know, our volunteers, we've had students volunteer, we've yeah. had adults. And when we engage them in the community and get them into activities, um, it's powerful because Absolutely. they have felt like they're unseen for yes. so long. Yes that you know to now change this conversation for our child which i know some teenagers don't like to be called children but you right. are still a child yeah, yeah, <laughs> for, a for a child that some of this is so such a grown-up concept yes that it's teaching them the value of life right um understanding their purpose you know yes. they are blessed with those 1400 yeah. minutes in a day but they're blessed with the breath in their lungs and the opportunity to do something right so and it's to take a really, action yeah you know and to to empower and you know, there's thousands of people everywhere, you know. And yeah. so we talk about just in their classroom, especially with the elementary kids. You know, we start small in their classroom. Well, most of their classrooms have anywhere from 18 to 20. Yeah. So if we went around the room and each one could think of one thing to do, we had this huge impact at the end. That's so great. being able to show them that, you know, showing it. We forget as adults, you know, yeah. we forget how simple and, and easy that is until mm -hmm. you have a conversation yeah. with a small child about kindness. Yeah. And it opens up a whole new, you know, concept of what kindness yeah. looks like because it's different. And so it makes you smile and it brings joy and it releases yeah. endorphins in our bodies that make <laughs> us healthy anyway. So um, it's you use more muscles in yeah. your body to laugh and smile. So it's a healthier option for people to be nice than to be rude yes. but for kids if they've not been exposed to that stuff they smile all the time they're happy yeah. all the time and I think we have to learn from that but to be able to take that as it gets distorted along the way and all yeah. of the stigmas get added to it and to be able to say as adults none of that stuff really matters because we're all still human so let's just get back to being nice and kind and doing for each other yeah we see the big impact. So I think that's why when people come to New Beginnings, it is a positive experience. It is yeah. a happy experience. You know, when people come into, you know, South Lake and, you know, as business leaders here, yeah. we are positive and happy and, you know, it's We've wonderful. We've got a cool community here. <laughs> because it's an amazing community yeah. here. But we get lost in, you know, the stuff, the news, the, the ugly that goes on out there. And I mm -hmm. think that's what trickles into mental health and our kids and, and the yeah. negative and so being able to stay one step ahead of that in our community working with our kids is always going to be a positive positive. and so i think that's, that's great yeah yeah so i know you guys have something coming up but i we think do. it'd be a good that's time insane. to take a little break so we'll take a quick break and then we'll come back and talk a little bit about a pop-up event Yay. it's very exciting we'll be right back the best things in life aren't items we can grab and hold they are the moments that grab and hold us. Moments that captivate us, inspire us, and enrich us. Moments that bring joy, strength, and peace. At Sing Insurance and Financial Services, we help you to treasure these times by being there when life's most difficult moments arise. Through our services, you will find independence, flexibility, health, and security that will prosper and protect your life. Whether you are driving that new car, buying that new home, opening that new business, or building a new family, we provide you the peace of mind and freedom to enjoy life's best things. Your next moment is waiting. Are you ready? Hello, I'm Mary Rhodes with The Mortgage Firm, your local mortgage lender. I've helped thousands of families achieve the dream of homeownership in Lake County, and I would love to help you. 
Our team has over 30 years of experience helping first-time home buyers, veterans, move-up buyers, seasoned investors, and more. Please read our reviews and visit us at mortgagefrompros.com. Welcome back. Okay, so we're still talking with Renee here today on Positive mm -hmm. Vibes, but now we're going to talk about some events that are coming up. Um, we have a couple of trunk or treat and fall festivals here in South Lake County. So I want to make sure you guys are aware of those that are coming up. So we only captured a couple that are, you know, in the more immediate future. Yeah. Um, the first is at Claremont Baptist Church, and it's a trunk or treat on Saturday the 19th. Um, just in the evening, and if you're still looking for those Halloween favorites, the costumes, go to the New Beginnings Thrift Store. We have one in Kissimmee, one here in Claremont. We've got some great finds and easy DIY projects if you're looking for that. But then the big event that we really want to talk about today is the pumpkin pop-up at Kim's yes. Cabbage Patch, right? So yes. Renee's going to tell so us a little bit about, about that. that. Well, the kind of ambassador kits that we work with throughout the community. Um, in the past, we've had quite a few different events. Um, they've had some kindness palooza events, which are big events that we had were a lot of fun. Um, this year, they're really focusing on smaller little pop-up events. They want to do yeah. kindness pop-ups and partnering with other nonprofits, other activities, other things that are going on yeah. in the community, and just being able to bring that support and awareness. So their first pop-up uh, for this year is gonna be their Kindness Pumpkin Pop-Up at Kim's yeah. Cabbage Patch. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. They're, the pop-up idea is they're in and out really quick. Yeah. So they pop up, they're there from nine to 11. We're gonna have, um, I think they've got donuts and coffee coming. They have some yeah. little arts and crafts projects. Uh, but the idea is you'll be able to come with your family get your pumpkin in the pumpkin patch and take some family photos. Yeah. So kind of uniting together. Um, New Beginnings will be there with yes, us. We and we're excited we about there. that. Um, we have Surveillance Plus that will be there. He's kind of um, kind of help kids with some safety, I think, for trick-or-treating and some tips for parents. So That's that'll cool. be fun. Yeah. Um, of course, myself, Row Family Chiropractic's there. We're always there just, you know, for healthy options and supporting yeah. our community. Uh, we have our... Uh, kindness ambassadors this time are going to be with Girl Scout Troop 1717. Um, they're out of Groveland, so they're going to be there supporting, helping you carry your pumpkins. And Splash Social Marketing um, is going to be a part of that, helping support. So the idea is everyone comes together, does one little piece, and our yeah. every all our one littles create something fabulous. So Kindness Pumpkin Pop Up is a first, but we're super excited. So we hope everybody will come and join us on October 26th, yep. 9 to 11 pumpkin everything, coffee, <laughs> pumpkin donuts, pumpkin treats, pumpkin candy, you name yeah. it. It's all about pumpkins at the pop-up. Yeah. It'll be so, great. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Lot of and fun. that day is full of some events. Yeah, that's there's right stuff near going on downtown. That day. Yeah. So yeah. once you're done at the Kim's Cabbage Patch, then Absolutely. you can walk on over to downtown Claremont. They'll have their fall festivals going yep. on. I think that's like an all-day event. It so. is an all-day event. I think that one yeah. goes until week like six, six, I think, that yeah. afternoon. Yeah. And there's so a costume contest. Stuff. So again, get your costumes at New Beginnings Thrift Store, and then you can go over. Yeah, more treats and, and tricks compete. going on. So yeah. it'll be fun stuff. It's going to be stuff. a good day. So yeah. we're excited to be a part of that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. So absolutely. Thanks I'm for excited. bringing it to our attention. Yeah. So what do you have next? What's coming up after Kim's Cabbage Patch? After Kim's event? Cabbage Patch, uh, their kids are working on some of their holiday stuff, shifting into that, you know, okay. figuring out um, how they want to work with some of the different groups, supporting families. Um, I know with um, a group I'm with, our business leaders group, we support mm -hmm. um, families through uh, the greater cancer and through new beginnings mm -hmm. and so help to provide uh, for families. They're looking at um, partnering with a project it's called the Grayson Project. And you okay. can, um, that's on Facebook if anybody's interested, the Grayson Project, G-R-E-Y-S-O-N. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a project that was started a few years ago here in South Lake yep. where um, a family or an individual business, whoever, fills a gift bag with like a Christmas tree and mini lights and garland and Christmas activities, things that um, can be donated. And then what happens with those bags is they go to children's hospitals here mm -hmm. um, because every child that checks into a children's hospital from December 1st 
right up until Christmas Eve. We deliver the last bags on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Um, we're sure that their room is decorated for the holidays. Which is so so it sweet. brings some, you know, yeah. holiday cheer to the family. So we, we did a little bit with them last year, but this year the kids are wanting to do some pop-ups. So they've reached out to our local Dollar Trees here in Claremont. Yeah, which is great. And they've agreed uh, to let the kids have some pumpkin, or not pumpkin, I'm stuck on the pumpkin pop-up. <laughs> um, some holiday Grayson Project pop-ups that we'll yeah. be doing outside of their store. So that you'll That's be able great. to pick up your gift tag, go in, buy everything on the list, come out, leave your note uh, for the family, and they'll be delivering those. So it should yeah. be a lot of fun. They got some interesting cuff them. That's very sweet because it yep. is a very tough time to have a child that's in the hospital during that holiday Absolutely. season. It's difficult Absolutely. for the whole family. For so the whole family. Yep. Offer some sense of normalcy for yeah. them while they're yeah. in the hospital. Yeah, and so, great. you know, just yeah. bringing some joy to them that could be hard. And not all of those kids go home. You know, yeah. during the holidays, um, some yeah. of them stay right. You know, they're there for the entire month of December. Some have been there uh, yeah. for a few months and some stay for a period after. So it is nice to be able, you know, to bring a smile to those families. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. That's so good. I look forward to working on that project with them this year. That's good. And then yeah. we have an opportunity at New Beginnings. We have our gala yep. coming up Yay, um, towards exciting. the end of the year. It's November 16th. So yeah. any students that their kindness troop that'd like to come out and support absolutely, would be great. Absolutely. Um, yes. I know last year we had some children both from Lake, um, I think South Lake High School and mm-hmm. East Ridge High from School East came Ridge out. So um, both I think were representing the, the Honor Society and some were kindness kids that I've recognized. Yes, so yes. it's a really good event. If you're not familiar with our gala, our gala is kind of our pivotal event it's, it's a lot of fun a lot we have of a fun. dancing competition yeah. um local some celebrities just going on the streets a lot of chit chat about that this year mm-hmm. <laughs> there's even challenges with the judges uh, that's what i yeah funny. i heard that little judging competition going on yeah. too so yeah. that could be that's always exciting yeah, yeah. it's going to be a great event so if you so. are interested You can get our information at our website, nbcfl.org, and the gala information is right there on the site. You can buy a ticket, you can sponsor it, and we're always looking for volunteers. We need volunteers the day before for setup and then the day of. Day of. But it's a great event, and it's a great opportunity for people of all ages to get involved. So thank you for coming out and joining us, Renee. If there's, how can people get involved with this movement. How can people get involved? The best place to contact us is by our Facebook pages. Um, okay. Those are all kind of manned um, by our kindness ambassadors. So, mm-hmm. and those are all youth kids that are overseeing that. <laughs> um, and I even have it. some elementary <laughs> kids that are on our board and committee and they do a really good job. So um, they can find us on Facebook at our We Are Listening Facebook page. And then we also have our Make a Difference USA Facebook page. Um, and that's our campaign page. And then all of our activities and highlights, anything that we have coming up in the community, if you'll like those pages, you'll get the tags and alerts and you'll be a part of our stuff. So we'd love to have you uh, follow us on our Facebook and come out and join us at our kindness pop-ups. Like I said, you're going to see more and more of those. So we're excited. That's great. And I do just want to give kudos to Renee because she really, you know, you you took, you grabbed the bull by the horns when, you know, some would have been just more like, you know, head in the sand, you know, tragedy hit our community. And it was very Absolutely. shocking for so many, especially those of us that have kids at well, home. So I commend you for <clears throat> kind of thank you running with it and bringing thank it you. to our community. Well, I think it's because of being a part of such a supportive, encouraging, positive community mm-hmm. that I was able to see that and know that we can fill the gap. We're good enough to do that. We can't yeah. let our kids fall behind. And we can. We've got a great community. Lots of people behind us. So thank you guys for joining us today on Positive Vibes. We will be back and we'll have another great guest. If you or someone you know would like to be a guest on Positive Vibes, please just let us know. You can reach out to me, Stephanie, Three New Beginnings, or you can contact SouthLakeTV.com and let us know that you're interested. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.